Deep in the heart of Texas, the streets are alive with music. As bands from all over the world gather in Austin for the South by Southwest Festival. Nearly 2,000 bands from over 50 countries playing all kinds of music. And all vying for industry and audience attention. Hi, NBC. This is Hyperpotamus speaking from Austin, Texas. Check me out and buy my album and get me out on tour. But for some artists here in Austin, it's just having the chance to play that music at all that means the most. Like brothers Now and Mons Anagay from Tangier. We are Lazy Wall. We're a band from Morocco. In their home country, heavy metal music was once an enemy of the state. When metal first became big in Morocco, there was actually a satanic metal scare in 2003 where 14 kids were arrested and fans as well as musicians and put on trial for Satan worship. The one day they were just rehearsing at home and the police came and just took them because they accused them of doing satanism. That band spent two months in jail before public protests led to their release. But Lazy Wall members say in the last few years, the Moroccan music scene has finally become more tolerant. It's very exciting because we're starting something new. But the last 10 years, uh, there has, has been a huge um, revolution in music and all the arts in general in our country. For some artists, the situation at home is still no better, and a public performance is a novelty. My name is Arash, and from the band Tarantis from Iran. In our country, they control the music. His heavy metal band has never played a public show in Iran and only exists in an underground scene. I mean, talk about underground music. The only place these guys could play was in the basement of their apartment building. But that's how they practiced, because you couldn't hear it outside. So if the morality police were driving around, they wouldn't hear it. Arash plays his U.S. shows without two of his bandmates, who had to return to Iran for military service but he's hopeful for what may lie ahead. Maybe some offers for sh shows or for some million dollars, you know. <laughs> What's up, everyone? For rapper Mohammed al Farah, a U.S. stage offers the rare chance to perform his music without fear of retribution. My name is Mohammed al Farah from PR the Palestinian Rappers from Gaza Strip. Back home, it's kind of hard to talk, for example, about political stuff, about, like, the government's the um, suicide troubles, problems between Fatih and Hamas and those kind of people, you know. So that's that's the hard part, part of it. So. His political music has prompted threats to him and his family from both Israelis and Palestinians. His brother was kidnapped. He himself was shot. After I got shot, I was thinking, like, uh, I don't want to go, like, in a violent way because violence doesn't bring anything except violence. So I gotta find like a peaceful way to talk about my struggle, about the people who are struggling in the life. That's why hip hop, because it's it's stronger than the bullet in the head. Alfara knows that opposition awaits him back home, but for now says he's grateful, like so many others, for that brief moment to speak his mind on stage. Amna Nawaz, NBC News, Austin.